Well, even though the school year just ended, there are some changes for next school year already underway. There's a new state law affecting every high school coach and athletic trainer. And we go now live to Brownwood reporter Sheena Stout. And Sheena, the new law, I understand it affects training for the staff. It does, Braid. For the 2012-2013 school year, every coach and trainer is, re is required by state law to complete two hours of training on concussions before September 1st. The law not only requires coaches and trainers to undergo training, also student athletes in grades 7 through 12 are required to sign a concussion acknowledgement form. I know it's going to make everybody feel safe. Now you don't just have one person that knows about them, you just, you're going to have the whole the whole staff of coaches. Brandon Henry, Brownwood ISD head athletic trainer, is glad the coaches are going to be trained also. Most of the schools around this area in Brownwood don't have trainers. And so it's, it's very important for the coaches to understand the protocol and, and the steps they need to take if they even suspect that a kid has a concussion. To guarantee that every student athlete is completely safe, Brownwood ISD has two trainers at every practice and sporting event. Bob Shipley, athletic director and head football coach, is happy to see the government taking the health of student athletes so seriously. We've always taken precautions here, uh, you know, to, to make sure that kids with concussions uh, are taken care of, and, and we've, we've actually waited uh, one week after the last symptom before, you know, we let them back in. And to find out more information on all of the rule changes that UIL has implemented, visit our website, ktxs.com. Braden? Thanks so much, Sheena. Here are some facts about concussions in high school sports. There are between 1.6 and 3.8 million sports-related concussions in the U.S. each year. The CDC now says sports-related concussions are at an epidemic level for young people between the ages of 15 to 24. Sports are the second leading cause of traumatic brain injury, only behind motor vehicle crashes.